Hello everyone, and welcome to the pilot episode for Bansan Plays Spore. For those of you who may not know just what Spore is, it's a pretty different type of game in that it's got five stages to it, and each stage, well, most stages anyway, employ very different gameplay mechanics. Like the first stage, which I'll be doing in this episode, has sort of an arcade type of gameplay, but later on you'll encounter real-time strategy type gameplay and other stuff like that. So, as well as, uh, this is actually also a pilot episode, so basically what that means would be that if you guys actually like it, then I'll do more of them. If you guys don't, I'll drop the subject entirely. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy playing it. I've actually got two files already, but I'm gonna make a new one for this. And so we're gonna be starting in the first stage. So I'm just gonna pick a planet here. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go with this one. I like to have blue water. I don't know, it's kind of a thing with me. So I'm gonna go for the cell stage. And one of the most important things... Well, one of the important things, anyway, for you to decide in Spore is your diet when you start out. If you're a herbivore, you eat plants. If you're a carnivore, you eat meat. And that sticks with you throughout the game. So basically, all the decisions you make when you make creatures or whatever, they tend to stick with you throughout. So I'm going to pick Carnivore, just to start out with. And let's see, I'm not going to pick a theme. I'm going to go on Normal Difficulty. And we're going to pick a random name. So our planet is going to be called... Actually, I kind of like the last one. No Race, because... Yeah, it's going to be filled with many different species and races. Why not do a completely opposite name? So now for a nice little cinematic. This planet's actually pretty nice. It's better than what I usually get. I'm very picky with my color schemes and the like. So, when we start off, our creature, or whatever you want to call it, begins as a cell come from outer space. So welcome to the Tide Pool. Throughout Spore, the choices you make will impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. This is your progress bar. Because it totally hasn't been explained already. As you eat, you'll earn DNA points, which are shown here. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. So basically, at each of these little things here, your cell becomes bigger and your perspective becomes bigger as well. So you can interact with bigger and bigger things. And you begin to flush out a bit. Like right now I'm like see-through and everything. So I'm not a very commanding creature yet. So I'm gonna try not to waste too much time in this because I actually already filmed an episode of Spore, and it was 30 minutes long, and I just got out of the cell stage. I would show that one, but my microphone was not working at the time, which is, uh, which is a bother, really. I'm just gonna make sure it actually is working. Oh, other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Each part does a different thing. When you see a new part appear, swim over the token to collect it. I know that was not word for word because I was looking elsewhere, but you get the gist of it. Basically, collect parts so you can be cooler and more powerful and awesome. So, 
I can call a mate to enter cell creator. Oh, I never even noticed that if you have your mouse over one of the creatures, you can actually see its name. Well, that's just neat. Discovering things every time I play a game. Okay, well I guess I was going the wrong way. So I'm gonna go mate, and what mating does, basically, it allows your creatures to make a new generation, complete with the mutations that are involved in evolving. So this is the cell creator. You can change modes in any creator by clicking on the mode buttons above. Ooh. Before turning to the tide pool, stop by paint mode and spruce up with a new look. So one of the most important things for me is I like to enter the creature stage as an omnivore. So I'm going to give myself two different mouths because why not? I'm gonna change the shape because I actually was like quite a fan of what I had last time and I was very sad to see it go. So I'm gonna do something similar. I had two eyes here that looked really silly and that's basically a spitting image of what I had. So let's go to paint mode and pick ourselves a color a color scheme. Kind of like this one. In bright orange. <laughs> Actually, kind of yellowy orange would be nice. Yeah. Perfect. And the name. Let's see. Random names, random names. That'll do. This is a cell. Perfect description, if I do say so myself. So now we can eat both food types, which is pretty great. So... Oh my, everything is huge! Oh gosh, so many competitors for food everywhere. So basically you've got health bars that you gotta keep track of. If you lose all your health, you die, and then you gotta... Well, you gotta just hope that you become a new creature. Basically, if you die, you just come back as another of your generation. So it's not too complicated, I mean... It's a simple game, but it is super fun. Oh, I'm getting eaten all over! And you recover health by eating things, which is great, because that's like basically the point of this entire stage just to eat things. So I'm gonna eat a lot of plants just to catch up on all the meats that I had. Alright, and now for some more meats. Because who doesn't love delicious tasty meat? Ouch! I hate it when I get bit. It's just rude. Give me all of your meat and parts. Ooh, parts. I got the jet. Well, that's pretty useful. The jet speeds you up a bit more. Uh, I want to eat you and get your parts. Oh, you're too fast. One of the important things in Spore is getting around quickly. If you're not quick enough to escape or make your attack, chances are you're not gonna do so well. Whatever that is. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get eaten. Oh, I got eight. See, that's what happens. You look for something fancy and you get eaten instead. Gotta be very careful. Oh, someone's Facebook messaging me. I don't even know who it is because they're just a number for some reason. So I'm just not gonna worry about that. Because I would like to finish this stage with relative quickness. Because last time it took me half hour, and the stage really shouldn't last that long. So let's mate, fancy cell thingy. I like how their little whisker things curl when they're all happy like that. They look pretty silly. So we need spikes. Honestly, they're like one of the most important thing. They protect your backside. It's fantastic. And 
There's not much else we can do. I mean, we don't have enough DNA to buy anything fancy. So we're just gonna move on and hope we don't get eaten some more because that is really a bother. So I'm gonna eat some more plant stuff. There we go. Eat this guy because he has good parts. Oh my god, he's so fast! How do you even get that fast? He's so fast. Oh, that's another one of my guys. You can't eat your own uh, species, which is good because it makes one less creature to be attacking you all the time. Because there's a lot of those already, honestly. So let's see, some nice meat. Ooh, plant material. Oh, I want these guys to be eaten by me. That would be nice. Oh, my spikes are supposed to kill you. You evil creature. There we go. So I got a neat little thing. Which is actually a... An omnivore mouth. It's kind of cool. plants to even out the diet. I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Yes, I stabbed you in the face. Come back here, you little beastie. I will get you. I'm very vengeful in this game. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. He didn't even give me a part. What a loser. Oh gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna eat this plant stuff and try not to die! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah, there's so much going on. I don't even... I don't want to die before I get this part. It's very important to me. Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Mate already! Come on, go, go! There we go. Oof. The power of love always trumps the dangers. Oh, okay, well, that thing just got zapped in the middle of that. It's kind of awkward. Okay, so basically I can either put on some more spikes or be quicker. I think I want... no. I want to be quicker, honestly. This thing looks really silly now with all these thingies. Which is great because I like silly things. Alright. So now we continue. I'm gonna try to be less indecisive making my creature as I was the last time I did this because it took me so, so long to do anything. Wow, there's a lot of my guys roaming around. I would prefer it if that other dude got eaten instead of me. That would be wonderful. That really hurts, guys. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you so much. Ow! Ah! Wow. There's so much danger everywhere. Ah, <sighs> okay. I want that plant. You can't have it. Oh, I hate you. It's so hard to find plants later on. It's... Ugh. They really make it a challenge for those who don't just take the carnivore route where hunting itself poses the, th the threat. Alright, let's kill this thing as a team. Yes, we killed it. Get away from all my plant material. I'm actually like snarling at these creatures because I'm that keen on having my plants. I need a balanced diet, guys. I need a balanced diet! Oh, goodness. Ooh, an egg! I want to eat it. I want to eat you. I will stab you with spikes on my sides. Haha. -ha. Yes. Alright. It's been 15 minutes, which is not as bad as last time. I'm really going to rush through this as much as I possibly can so that you guys can get at least a couple minutes of creature time without me having to 
extend the episode by a lot, like last time. I think it's about time that I mate just a bit. Alright, let's go. Try not to get stabbed. There we go. Okay. So let's add something dangerous this time. Uh, you know, we're gonna change the mouth to make it a little cheaper. And then add some electrifying bits. There. That should be sufficiently dangerous for now. Spikes bigger. Sucker things bigger. Yeah. Now we're talking. Alright, let's hurry through to the end of the stage. Every time my creature pops up like out of an egg or whatever. Oh, okay, well, there you go, I've reached the end. I've grown a tiny little brain! It's super exciting. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Yeah! Congrats, when it comes to swimming in sludge, you rule the pool! When you're ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button. Well, let's see what I got. Looks like I got Omnivore. History. This timeline shows a history of the actions you've taken during life as a cell. You've established a trait which earns you unique abilities that will benefit your future generations. Which path have you chosen? Oh, goodness gracious. All this talking tires my throat. Makes me yawn. Hope I didn't make you guys yawn by saying the word yawn. Alright, so I've got an ability for the next stage, which is Summon Flock. I'm not gonna go over the rest of them because may as well have some mystery in it. So I'm gonna make my creature and then I'll probably end it there. I think that would be a good place to end it. It will appear on dry land and it will be wonderful. So this thing is gonna look really silly. It's gonna have eyes on its tail. Needs legs. I'll pick these ones because I usually don't. So I think it's a good way to start. Alright. And all of these features, let's see. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna make this a bit shorter. Because I think it's a bit too dramatic of a growth for it to go from tiny little cell to all of a sudden giant weird tail monster. Oh, I didn't actually get one of the parts. Oh, I don't think I've ever not gotten one of the parts. That's really bizarre. Actually, let's see. So, it's, it's got most of what it needs. That. Give it like a little hat. Yes, it's a little hat. It looks so silly. I'll raise it up a bit. Give it some longer legs. Skinnier legs. <laughs> it's a very silly looking creature anyways. Got a somewhat fat body head thing. Normal as a weird creature with its eyes on its tail can look. I'm actually going to give it one extra eye though. Right here. So that it can see everything ever. It is the boss of all creatures. So now, I'm just gotta move my recording display around so I can see properly. Now I remember there was one in here that I really liked. I kind of liked this one. There's a reason why. If I give it crazy, crazy colors, it becomes pretty fun. Yeah. 
It's basically a monstrosity, but whatever. That's how I roll, you know? Even though I don't roll at all. I'm not a rolling person. Yeah. I think that looks pretty decent. For now, anyway. I think this part could look a little more pinkish, though. Could stand to look more pink. And this could stand to look more blue, or whatever you want to call that color. Yeah. So that's my creature for now. It's gonna look pretty ridiculous later on. This is a... creature. Yeah. Upgrade. So we're going to continue, we're gonna view the cinematic, and then I'm going to end the video. Just to give you guys a glimpse of what's to come if we continue the series. So, nice little loading screen for us. Huzzah! I like that at least the the things that it's supposedly initializing and loading are kind of interesting. Oh, it's showing some creatures I might encounter. That one I made when I was younger, back when the creature creator came out. That's one of the creatures I played as. You can tell by the little icon of like a planet with a check mark. Those are ones that I've made for the most part. I think you can like up, uh, download some that other people have made, but I I generally just make my own because I like to make weird things. Wow, that thing looks like a monster. It's like the weirdest sea monster. All right, call your pack and let's go on land. Oh, the sounds they make. Wow. Wow, that's wonderful, isn't it? Everything is so purple. It's pretty nice. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air, for, air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Welcome to land, blah 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 blah. We will continue in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to give any suggestions for what kinds of weird creatures you might like to see me make, or later on buildings, or whatever else I might be able to make. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, also let me know for that, otherwise I may not make more. <laughs> so I hope you, I sincerely hope you did enjoy it because I like playing this game. And I'll talk to you guys next time. See yas!